people. We got another top five. It has been a while since we have seen Mr. Rennie here on the channel. Boo! Move on. So as you can clearly see, we're in a new location, but we're still going to do that top five. So we each have our own five. So I guess it's like a top ten. You're but boring them. They know what the deal is. Let's go. All right. So as you can see by the title, we're doing top five uh, best structure decks. So most influential. I thought it was super decks. Oh, my bad. Oh, wrong list. <laughs> super. No, no, let's go to structure decks. All right, we got that. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so do you want to begin? Or no, it's your channel. Begin? You do it first. All right, all right. So my number five, I'm going to go ahead and say the newest structure deck that just recently came out. I'm going to have to say Synchro Extreme. But you hate Synchros. I'm not the biggest fan of Synchros. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. But I like that they decided to go ahead and boost up the Yusei mechanic with a whole bunch of just a ton of new, brand new cards to allow, in my opinion, right now, the weakest of the game mechanics and give them more of an arsenal. Because, uh, you know, that Drill Warrior and the Drill Synchro and just Effect Veiler and just a handful of cards. There's just so many good cards in that structure deck, which will definitely be able to go ahead and boost up the Synchro mechanic and hopefully allow it to do something. Ha, you're funny. Pendulum's a broke. Next. Uh, yeah, don't listen to him. Synchro's never. <laughs> never. Anyway, mine. Five. Six Samurai. I don't think I gotta explain it. It got so much good shit in it, you could pretty much play with the deck outside the fucking box if you really wanted to. All you really need is a Kappa Shien, and you're good. Yep. That's pretty much it. I mean, copy yourself a Shien, get yourself Six Samurai, smash it. You're done. GG, bitches. <laughs> GG, bitches. Okay, I guess we'll just move on to number four then. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so we are done quick. Mm -hmm. It's already it's late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so number four, I'm gonna go ahead and say Lost Sanctuary. Which is what? Uh, Hyperion. Who? Hyperion, the, the the fairy structure deck. You all remember that structure deck? Master Hyperion and the agents. Oh, Earth. you're talking about Earth. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. If you, the, yeah. I'm talking about Earth. Oh, Hyperion's okay. in the front of the structure uh, oh, deck. Oh, really? I thought it was Earth. My yeah. bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's from the structure deck. It comes up with a lot of good stuff. Solemn Judgment. Its own Solemn Judgment. Divine Mass, Hyperion, Earth. It actually makes that whole, you know... Uh, Sanctuary in the Sky mechanic actually decent and, you know, it even piloted a deck to win worlds and get hit the hell out of it. True. You know, true, like, true. it's not very often that Konami just goes ahead and takes, a, a, like, a core of the structure deck and then tears it apart on the ban list just because it wins worlds. I mean, it's got all its cards now and it hasn't really done much since, but it was just very influential for its time. So I definitely gotta say, that power of that Master Hyperion. You know why it doesn't do anything? Because pendulums are broke. Moving on, anyways. You, what's up with this pendulum? I hate pendulums so fucking much. Uh, so fucking much. I hate pendulums with hey, passion. But, hey, spoiler alert. What? You know what the next structure deck is? What, a pendulum deck? Yeah. Ooh. Master of pendulums. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Fuck pendulums. Anyways. What's your number four? Uh, freaking Gates of the Underworld. That's Graphodot deck. This is another deck that comes with a lot of good stuff that's just there. That you don't really need, but it's there for you. And... Plus, it comes with Mind Crush. Come on now. Who doesn't want a Mind Crush in their fucking deck? Just bam. Get them niggas. And plus, Graph is one of the most broke boss monsters ever to be conceived. So the fact that you just get it with some snows and all this other shit makes it that pretty powerful, in my opinion. What? You just, you just said my number three. I don't care. Move on. I, I can't move on. I don't know. Nope, nope, nope. Too bad. Move on. You, you fuck. I showed you, no, you my lip. I I know. Mm. No, 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 you didn't. I'm done. You're fired. You're, <laughs> You're fired. Oh, my God. We got these people just walking in front of the cat. Oh, this whole video is fucked, mm. isn't it? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Just pick something else. I don't... I can't think of anything. Well, well, fine, right. fine. Right, Get your else. hand out of my video. Yeah. I'm done. Well, what am I supposed to climb over the damn... Yes, thing? climb over the chair. Parkour. Let's go. Shit. <laughs> this video so bad. Fine. I'm just going to go ahead and say my number three, which is changed. It was Gates of the Dark World. Mm -hmm. <sighs> fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Fine. We'll just go ahead and drop Grimm's Dark Dang. Oh, the core of it's not the greatest, but, you know, when you are able to go ahead and pull off this group and switch at that time, it's just like, what? You get to go ahead and just keep on dark holy monsters? Not bad. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and throw in there a little bit of a plug. Um, I'm part of this uh, tournament, it's called the Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution, where we, we chose a structure deck to do it with in this tournament. So I chose the Fire King, so I guess I'll give the deck a shout out. Even though Shameless plug. As of now, I don't think the structure deck's really that good, because it's really just Grunix done with a whole bunch of fire crap. So I really wasn't going to plan on putting it on this list, but I guess I will now. You know, It's much better if you go ahead and put the three structure decks, and it really does suck that Yaksha's not in it. Mm -hmm. The Yaksha's in it, that'd be much better, because if, if I don't get Onslaught, 
Yeah, I got one barong. Not the best, but I'll go ahead and put it on here. Right. <laughs> so what's your number three? Dragoonies. Uh, right. Good shit in it. Boss Monster's pretty good. You can mine it with freaking Light and Darkness Dragon. And I'm biased, and I like Dragoonies. That's and the reason why. <laughs> it got better with the power of Vagina. Yeah, true that. You got a Vagina and all extra stuff. I mean, if any deck gets one card that's broken for Dragon Rules, it'd be Dra Dragoonity. So I think they deserve a little bit up there. Just because of Dragon Rules? Yep, just because of Dragon Rules. All right. So, moving on to number two. My number two is Hero Strike. I don't heroes. like that. I hate heroes. See, he has two things on his list. He hates bias. But mm -hmm. I'm not being biased. How, that, isn't that the opposite of bias? I'm giving credit where credit is due. It's a good hey, structure. Hey, hey, stop coming at me with logic, man. I, right <laughs> out of the box, you got it. <laughs> right out of the box. And, and like I said, in this tournament, I, there's a handful of people that are using Denklaw.dak. And I was like, wait, you have Sonar Monk, you got that Thalmus, you got the Compulse, you got this Shadow Mist, like straight up out of the box, you can just go ahead and play that structure deck and it's actually pretty decent. Mm. So I'm gonna have to give it to it. Just think all in general. It's just good enough to go ahead and make it just oh my god. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's your number two? Aroma Sea Emperor. See see I am wait because people probably don't even know what the hell that is. I'll wait. Come on, y'all can think of this. It's a structure deck before the Fire Kings. Yeah. Come on, come what comes in it? That one card, y'all know. No, I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Poseidon, motherfuckers. Poseidon, come on, I knew that. Oh, oh, you, oh do you knew that? You oh, knew that? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you mean those monsters that went with Mermels? <laughs> <laughs> Screw him. Don't listen to him. That boss monster's good. You get dragoons, you get a whole bunch of good shit, you get a deep sea diva, you get a whole bunch of good crap in that deck. You get not Neptibus? Who cares about them? See, go home. <laughs> oh, you're right here. Anyways. I, like I said, I think this is another good deck for toolbox, and a lot of decks I pick have a lot of good toolbox shit in and this is another one with a lot of good toolbox shit in it. You know, you get the dark hole, the rise, all that good shit in there, you know? So, that's me. And plus, since he picked the fire deck, I figure I picked the water deck to even it out. Moving on, now. All right. So, moving on to number one. You mm -hmm. got your number one? Yeah. All right, my number one, and you probably guys don't even think about this. You guys are like, wait, wait, that was a structure deck? My number one is Zombie Madness. Okay, zombies too. <sighs> <laughs> Not per se the monsters, the monsters were kind of meh, but just how versatile it is. I mean, that, in its time, it just came out with so much good stuff. It came with Toronto, the recompulses, mm -hmm. card to save for turn, snatch deal. It's just like, holy crap. I want the shit that's banned. <laughs> oh, not exactly. You know, mm -hmm. a handful of cards are banned, and rightfully so, because there's just so much good stuff in that structure that, that it was just like, what, what, Wow, so it's like the blue eye structure that you get like you get like half of it and throw it away because you can't use it. <laughs> it's less like that. You're like, oh yeah, look, well I don't need these cards. Flick like twenty. Yeah, so, but back in their time, you could use them and Konami made that deck back really good. Yeah, Diablo. Anyway, <laughs> what's your number one? Number one. Uh, uh, my number one. Mm -hmm. You sure you want to know? What's your number one? Are you positive? I don't think what's you your wanna number know. one? <laughs> the Machina deck. <laughs> What is that thing called? Machina Fortress dot deck? That's the name of the deck, right? I think it's called Machine Revolt? Nah, nah, it's called Machina Mayhem, actually, you dumb bitch. Oh, it is? What <laughs> yeah. the fuck is Machine Revolt? Machine Revolt is, is that one equip deck thing, 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 thing. I don't remember. Hey, hold on, what? I'm gonna look, let me look it up, see? You, you're expert. <laughs> <laughs> What's Machine Revolt? I don't know. Nigga, you don't even know half the fucking structure uh, decks. No, no, I see, I'm, I'm just playing the fool. I know the structure decks. Oh, oh, is that a picture one. of a dinosaur? Yeah, that's the wrong oh, one. Mm. It's, mm -hmm. I clicked the wrong mm -hmm. button. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm -hmm. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> All right. Is that the one with Gadgetron? What machine? Yeah, that's yeah. the Gadgetron okay. one. Okay. See, it's okay. The, that's the that's the Gadgetron. See, see, see. He racist and he's biased. He's like, oh, all machines look I, alike. I, I, how are you racist against machines? They're you not said, race. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're a sentient race of machines. So, no, uh, no, they're yeah, not. Yeah, they are. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. A sentient race of machines? Yeah. How that, does, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean that doesn't make any they sense? They don't have any emotions. Well, they're machines. See, obviously, you've never seen the Matrix then. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Then you've never, mm -hmm. then you've never seen the Matrix mm -hmm. because machines have feelings and that, machines no. speak of love. <laughs> Anyways, why the hell we get off topic? Any fucking way. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, Machina died dead. For all you niggas that don't know, it's called Machina Mayhem. The double M. Double M's in your mouth. Anyways. <laughs> First of all, we got Machina Fortress. I don't think I have to explain Machina Fortress. It's just broken. It's just so good. It's broken. If Machina Fortress was a bitch, it'd be a big titty bitch. Straight up. <laughs> 
what else you got up in here? I mean, gear frame and search. Yeah, you got gear frame shit. You got gadget stuff for the basic gadget shit, you know. But pretty much the way I, I'm giving this deck up there because it comes with Compulsive and Mocking the Fortress. Pretty fucking much. Mocking the Fortress is so broke that you get that back in the day since we're talking about old days. Blah, blah. You probably rocking the fortress and pretty much people would sit there and scream at you like, damn it! I can't attack it! Can't use it effect! Ah! Man, my king of fortress, there's not a single bad effect in that card. Everything is good and it's still used to this day, especially with a little bit of synergy with train, just because the fill spell allows you to summon gear frames. So I might as well throw fortress in there too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pitch a couple of them trains and summon a powerful fortress. It's yeah, not bad. It's throw not it at him. Told you, if she was a bitch, she'd be a big titty bitch. Who doesn't love a big titty bitch besides weirdos? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I guess you left. Okay, then. That's the end of this list. If y'all got any other lists, go ahead and write down in the comments there. If we feel like it, we'll look at it. Probably not. But, you know, you never know. You might get lucky. <laughs> All right, comment, like, subscribe. Y'all hit that dislike button. I will find you.